back. It's 6.30 and I'm going to try to keep this puppy on time. Just monitoring myself on the iPad to make sure you can see me. I know we still have the issue with the sun, but I hope that the mirror will reflect a little bit better on me. I'm hoping you can see my whole head. <laughs> on my phone, I'm like this big. On my iPad, I'm like this big and the mirror is this big. So it's been kind of fun trying to get the positioning of everything just right. Taking off the rose-colored glasses for a little bit. I'll have to stick them over here. Always oh, yes, I should take a photo of me doing my color teaching. So I think I shared with you before about our compacts that hold big bazillion colors, and there's all these cute color looks. I decided to go rogue and do my own look. Even though I've done the ones in the catalogs before, I figured you'd be bored because you've probably already gone to my YouTube channel and watched the videos, right? What, you haven't? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Go watch the videos. You can come back to this later. No, I'm just kidding. So we've already got the base face on and I was going nuts. So I had to finish my eyebrows and I had to finish my face. There was no way I was going to try to come back on camera with half a face done. So hopefully, as I said, maybe if I lean in and angle the camera again, you'll get a little bit more flattering lighting on me than this weird glowy light. But we're going to start with some basics. I want to make sure you know you can use both color and, sorry, liquid and mineral eyeshadow together. And that there are brushes for that. Excuse me just a minute. You're not being quiet. Please be quiet. I have a very noisy husband. Don't mind him. I'm just going to embarrass him on the interwebs. So there were these pictures of these liquid colors. They're kind of a light tan, a darker tan sort of a, a rose gold and a purple. I'm going to play with the rose gold. I love this color. And I was taught by makeup artist Lori Hogg, who is a Mary Kay color brand ambassador, that these can be used first, and then you can put mineral color over them. You can be used separately. I just like the fact that they have these cute little doe foot applicators, and you can actually use a, a color, a, what you call a cream color brush, to apply the color. So I'm going to put this up in the upper part of my eye area, where it's best to put shiny, glittery colors. You don't want to put them too close to the lash line. Now I guess my cats are getting into it because they think they're going to get fed, but it's, it's an hour before dinner time, so it's going to be like a circus. You'll just have to deal with it. If you have kids, you know what that's like. So I'm going to put this color in the brow bone area to kind of brighten and lift. I usually teach a very basic three-color look, but you can definitely go with more than that as long as you blend. And, and the old joke about smoky eyes is it's like kind of falling asleep on your pillowcase and smearing your face all over the pillowcase. That's how much you have to blend to get a good smoky eye. We're not doing that today, but I can teach you that if you want to learn. And smoky eye can be done with all different colors. It doesn't have to be done with just black or gray. Let's see here. So... I hope you have had fun checking out the other vendors. There have been some really fun products over there that I hope to also check out for myself. And um, so I'm using some of our limited edition colors. You might notice them here. I think it's peacock blue, pomegranate. I forgot what this color is called. And this one on the end, this iridescent grayish green, is called hummingbird. This is really fun. So I'm going to pull out my mineral brush. Well, they're synthetic brushes, but they're designed for mineral colors. And these are the three basic ones you'll see me using all the time. Uh, the all over eye color, the angle brush for your crease, and then the smudger, which you saw me clean earlier with the cleaning machine. I know, right? Recall. So we're going to play with a couple of the light colors. I'm not going to go crazy with the dark colors, but I'm going to use um, this lightest color. I always forget its name. I still have it in stock. That's why I even mentioned these, because if I didn't, what would be the point? This is called Golden Peach. So I'm putting Golden Peach on that upper eye area, but under the rose gold. And you're going to see that they blend beautifully. There's no crepiness. There's no wrinkling. They go beautifully together. They're like sisters in the same family, color family. So I'm not going crazy putting on like, you know, three bright stripes of color. This isn't going to be like a rainbow across my eyelid. Then I'm going to take the crease brush. Mm, let me hold off on that. I'm going to flip this brush and use the darker color for pomegranate. I think this is darker than I want it to be, but I'm going to find out by putting it on my lid. And if it's too dark, we can cover it up. And if it's too light, we can augment with a nice color in the crease. So this is uh, not as, as bright as I thought, but it was a good thing we put that primer on earlier. So we have the ability to make this color really nice and bright. Another cheat you might not know about with our finishing spray is if you spray the brush with the finishing spray and then you apply the mineral color 
it looks even brighter. I don't want to go super bright, so we're going to just put, and I've been blending and blending, you know, so I've been bringing it up into the crease so it blends in with the other two colors a little bit. But I want to go with that hummingbird with the crease brush in the corner and really get some fun color going on here. Now, first it looks pretty deep, but keep in mind I'm going to go right into the fold where you're not going to see it as much except when I blink. And I'm actually going to also drag it along the lash line. I call this a sideways V. I don't know what it's really called. Maybe it's a chevron. But it's just meant to be a hint of color in the corner. I'm not going to fill in the whole corner of my eye with this color. But I think it goes beautifully with the other two. The nice thing with this palette is, because it's magnetic, it's modular, you can put whatever colors you want in there as long as they fit. So you can get four of these little guys or one of these guys on a blush. Or um, sometimes we have limited edition colors that are a little bigger. And, I mean, it's just kind of nice to be able to grab something, put it in your purse and go. That's, that's a nice convenience of this. And as I said before, I often will give that as a hostess gift when someone hosts a color session with their friends, you know, for fun mini makeovers, 30 minutes or less with like five or six friends. It's, that's actually kind of a fun idea, you know. You're not going crazy with too much um, product, but you're playing with some samples that I mail you, and you get to use them and tell me what you think, and then I even have like a little follow-up survey if you want to fill it out. So what the heck, we're going to use a little peacock blue, but only on a lash line. This is not like the blue mascara from the uh, 90s, don't worry. It's actually going to be kind of light because I'm not going heavy with it. I'm using the smudger. And I am still going to use eyeliner. So you'll see some of this because I'm going to put it on the upper and lower lash line, but just in the corner. So we get kind of a bold look going on, but it's not like too scary. Nothing like, a, oh, I grew up with the 80s with the crazy bright hot pinks and other colors they used to have on the posters at the hair salon and they were kind of insane. I'm going to toss on a little bit of blush because we have this really fun cheek brush. See here, got a little dimple in it so you can get a contour edge. You can get, if you put your thumb there, it becomes like a kabuki brush and then you can have the wide flat end. So I'm going to just use the tip. This is the cheek that I didn't do contouring on before so we'll use the darker blush in that spot and then we're going to put the lighter color blush above it and then blend the two so it's like what they call a watercolor blend. It's a softer cheek color. And of course, I can't get the lighting right because of the sun, but you just trust me, it's not too bright. We're not going to be, this is much more subtle, this is a little brighter, but otherwise it's pretty, pretty laid back. I could have used the uh, two-tone cheek and color brush, but I decided that since that I may not have in stock, it wouldn't be fair to demo it and then not make it available for you. So that is where I went with that choice. And now we're going to do some eyeliner, mascara, a lip liner, lipstick. I may show you also a lip gloss and a liquid matte lip color because I thought that was kind of cool and I have plenty of that in stock. And they actually come in duos. I'll have to hunt down the photo for that to show you guys. But what's nice about this is you have like a daytime look and a nighttime look in each duo. So you can take both to work and whichever one you feel like wearing at work and then you can change to the other look afterwards. Another thing to keep in mind is you can put on finishing spray midway through you don't have to wait till the end. It's like hairspray for your face. This was designed, believe this or not, to help women dealing with menopause and hot flashes. And they would spray it on the back of their neck. It's by uh, Skin, Skin, Skin Davidy. Skin, I can't even say it. Skin Davia? I will look it up. It's hard to pronounce, but the company basically designed it for one thing and it worked out better for something else. So we got it. We bought it. It's ours. And um, i got to make track of uh, the ones I have to clean still. I have also, just so you can see it, because some people like to bake their foundation, this is our sheer, um, I always get the name wrong, it's, it's, the, it's like not the finishing spray, it's basically a translucent powder, and I'm going to go to the catalog to give you the proper name, because I will mess it up. But this is great for touching up along the way. Translucent loose powder. Thank you. I knew it was something like that. Hi Sherry, looks like my super fan is back. She is actually a sister consultant, but she and I will tr trade conversation ideas how to help our customers. So it's always nice to be able to have someone you can refer to and be like, hey, how did you handle this problem? Or I was curious, have you used this product yet? So I put a little bit in the cap because otherwise it makes a big hot mess. I put it on here and I tap it so I don't get a ton. And I could like lightly brush over the foundation I put on earlier, the blush I have, the eye color. And it's not going to brush off and it's not going to leave a weird white powder on my face. But this helps lock in your color 
all day so you're not sweating it off. The spray is great for really hot days. This powder is almost like to minimize shine. And as I said, some people will bake their foundation on with this where they'll put this on, wait a little while, and then brush off the excess. It's great for removing oil, but if you do too much, it's gonna be super matte. And that may or may not be flattering depending on your skin type. You might recall I used a luminous foundation earlier, and there was a reason for that. So, uh, let's see. So basically everything but the lips and a little bit of the eyes are to be done. So I'm going to go jump back to the eyes because I want to show you this. This is our waterproof liquid liner. I'm reading it and then I'm showing it to the camera realizing you can't read the label. Uh, we up updated the formula on our liquid eyeliner recently. So this one's waterproof. Most of our stuff is water resistant, but this is waterproof and that really makes a big difference. Sorry. Do you have to do that right now? I can't mute on here. So you don't want to pull on your eye. I sometimes hold my finger here just so I don't like get a zigzaggy line. A lot of people do like a dotted line as they draw across. They want something thin. And then they can kind of go back to make a wing. If you're into that, I think it's kind of fun. So you're going out at night, you might want to do a bolder line. The idea is that your lash, lash line outside, not in your eye, you're emphasizing your eyelashes by drawing on your lash line. So now you notice them more. Like you can see the eye without eyeliner versus with liner. Already you're noticing a difference. And then when I put mascara on, you're really going to see it. So since I'm right-handed, one eye is always nice and straight and the other one's always crooked. It's just unfortunately the way it works. But the way I look at this is this is like a Sharpie for your eyes. It's got a nice sharp point, but when you press down, you can get a wider line. And sometimes you mess it up. But in the end, as long as you're not touching your eye makeup, you're not locking it in. The oils on your finger is what's locking in the uh, product onto your skin so you want to be sure you have it the way you want it i still wouldn't touch your eyes because you know these days you got to be so careful but i have more than once got mascara in my eye it is not fun do not get mascara in your eye I don't recommend it it's not a fun experience so we have a lash primer it's like a clear coat like you clear coat your nail polish before you put on your Nail color, same difference. So I'm going to put this on. This is my personal one, so don't panic. This, you can't really demo this without one of those disposable mascara wands. But you need to see the brush. Look at those bristles. It's got a soft, fuzzy part. I'm going to try to remember my camera as I moved it to this side. And then it's got the regular kind. And the idea is that while it's still wet, you're combing this through your lashes. So that your mascara goes on easier, stays on better, and comes off easier with that oil-free eye makeup remover I demoed for you earlier. See, there's callbacks. you got to watch the other video or you're going to have no clue what I'm talking about. So this is our limited edition Fanorama. I am absolutely in love with this because I love the Lash Love, and now we have something with a brush that's shaped to give you the advantage of... You may or may not be able to see it, but if I hold it just right, get it to focus, it's curvy. And then you rotate it, and it's flat. So the curvy side first... You go in and really get close and coat. And I have to kind of turn my wrist to get the other part of my eyelashes there. And I blink. I find that sometimes your mouth is open when you're doing mascara. I don't know why. We do that. And with the lower lashes, I tend to wiggle through. I don't need as much. And I also am trying not to get the corners. I get like what I call tarantula lashes where the lashes get caught. On each other. Yes, the Lash Primer and the Fanorama. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate that. I will say before this, the big go-to mascara was the Lash Intensity, but I found 10 times the volume was too much, and it was actually getting on my glasses. Not the fake ones here with no lens, but my real glasses. I do re wear glasses for distance vision and tiny, tiny print on my TV. <laughs> Not really reading this, but already, can you see a difference? How wide and how well-coated and the nice thing is the tip of this brush, you may not be able to see it so well, is round. And the idea is it's meant to help you fan out your lashes. So I can go through, can't really do it while I'm looking at the camera, and kind of spread them out and get them not, not untangle them, basically. And if you had wanted to, you could have used a lash curler ahead of time. That is an option. I'm always afraid of them. They look so scary, like a torture device. Now I think I just made this worse, but you get the idea. You have a lot more control with a brush when it has all these different sides and shapes. We will always have, I promise, our ultimate mascara. That's our, like our standard. I know YouTube, uh, YouTube, uh, Yahoo Makeup or Yahoo Reviews loves the ultimate mascara. 
And there was Lash Love and Lash Love Lengthening, which are kind of sisters to this product. And um, they, again, different shape brush, but it's that same lightweight formula that allows you to like widen and separate your lashes so you can really, really see them. I think I do better on one eye than the other. What do you think? I don't know, I need some work, but everybody needs practice. So lipsticks, we have lipsticks, we have lip glosses. We have several formulas of lipsticks. Like I'm not gonna demo them all. There's just no way. But just know if you ever go to our website or the catalog, you're gonna see lots of choices. Now, something I've been reminded is, why do we use lip liner? Because it helps trap your lipstick so it doesn't bleed out. You can actually kind of coat your lips a little. And I have a few of these. It's a, like a lipstick kit with a matching lip liner and lipstick. It's a little, sorry, the heart patterns, uh, lip patterns actually on the cap. And what I think is cool is there's a neutral and then there's a pink. And I love the pink. I figured if I'm doing a bold eye, I usually do a neutral lip. But it's evening and I got weird lighting. So I'm going to put something on you can see clearly. Now, you could make a more significant dent there. I like to line on the inside of my lip so I don't over over, but if you want to make your lips look fuller, you can go outside just a little, not too much. You don't want this crazy crown, clown lip. Now, you might remember I put primer on my lips earlier. We have a lip primer, actually. It's great for reducing fine lines. I actually can use lip primer up here as well as on the lips. Get that friend who just quit smoking and she's got the weird lines there. That lip primer will help get rid of the lines there, along with their deep wrinkle filler. Those are great for that particular problem. So instead of embarrassing her, you're celebrating her by giving her great lip products to make her lips even sexier so she doesn't have to think about why she doesn't have a cigarette in her mouth anymore. All right, this isn't perfect, but then again, her having had the challenge of lighting. Now you can use a lip stick you can use the cream liquid brush and apply your lipstick so there's different ways to apply it so what i'm going to do is do something a little weird i'm going to put on half my mouth so i can show you the matte lip color limited edition because i have a bunch of that in stock and then i'm going to go back over this matte lipstick with a lip gloss so you can see this so i want to show you different products it's the only way i can come up with it so Normally our lipsticks are, or sorry, lip liners are designed to match our lip color. Once in a while you can get one that actually matches your favorite lipstick, but we have so many lipstick colors, it's kind of challenging to do that. But I think it's nice when you can pair them like that. So this was our limited edition matte lip, 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 liquid lip color. I cannot say this. I think this is great if you're stuck wearing a mask and you're concerned about your lipstick coming off. We had a limited edition lip lacquer that's no longer made, but that was amazing. Um, that one had a multi-step process. This one is, you put it on, you let it dry, and it stays there. I know this looks weird, but it's so velvety and smooth, and you can see how much difference, all right, maybe not with the lighting the way it is. Red looks with this color look I gave you versus pink. It looks great with either color. That's why I picked this one. I mean, there was like a burgundy, there was a kind of tan, there was a different shade of red. And as I said, they were part of, of these little pairs you could get together. Let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about here. The, there's the fourth one, here it is. So I believe it went something like this. This one called Red Alert was with Top, top That, or Top That. That was one pair. And then there was this other pair that was called Berry Strong and Red Envy, which is kind of a darker red, a more of a brick red. See what I mean? So I decided to go with the brighter red, just so you can see how it contrasts against the pink and how one person, if I can get this angled right, can look good with either color. Again, it looks a little insane, but I'm gonna eat this off so it doesn't matter. And just because I am totally insane, and I only have so much time left because it's almost seven, I'm gonna show you our um, Endless perform not endless performance. I always get this wrong. Unlimited lip lip gloss. Unlimited lip gloss. Yeah, we keep changing the names of products over time. And this is now a new bottle. It's longer. It's got a really fun shaped doe foot applicator versus the old style. So it really hugs your lip. And I'm going to go over the matte lip with this color. This is a solid. We have uh, more of a sheer. We have a more pearlized. So there's like three categories now. 
Uh, my absolute favorite is probably Fancy Nancy. It's always been, it always will be. And that one is one of the more pearlized ones. Uh, technically, it's a shimmer. So I guess shimmer is the most glittery. Pearl is in the middle and cream, which is what this is, is the uh, remaining one. And uh, actually, very, this is Pink Fusion. I got the name wrong. Yes, Pink Fusion is one of the cream ones. So I need to look down. Just give me a second. So before I do the upper lip, notice it actually is like the same color. That was good thinking. So I didn't actually use this brush I was going to, but I'll keep it because it's clean. So I will now put my funky pink glasses back on before I sign off. And remind you, if you want your own five minute or even half hour mini makeover tutorial, let me know. I am happy to teach you. We have pre-done color cards that are based on your eye color. I can customize a look for you. If you see one in the catalog that excites you or you're not sure, I have those 10 different other looks I can show you with our Chroma Fusion set. But as I said, I've done some of these on the YouTube channel. You can watch them there. If you're more interested in like the VIP group where you can join the group, but also see the tutorials. I usually do Tip Tuesday or Tutorial Tuesday. I have other things I do throughout the week. I have giveaways. And the hope is that you're going to find something fun and educational with the group. You'll find kind of a safe place to express yourself. A lot of times I'll ask fun engagement questions that are all quizzy. Not necessarily about products. Sometimes it's just, oh, what's your favorite slush flavor? That kind of thing. And every once in a while, it's the, if you had to pick one of these four to get rid of for the rest of your life, which food would it be? And it's really interesting to see which is like the food that they cannot get rid of versus the ones that like, meh, I hate that. I can get rid of that in a heartbeat. So feel free to pop in. It costs you nothing to visit either of those groups. And you can always ask questions. Information is free. I figure I'd rather give you good advice and have you take better care of yourself than have you make up a very horrible look on you that's disastrous, go in public and embarrass yourself, and then come to me and go, why didn't this work? <laughs> like, I'd rather help you save you for that embarrassment by showing you some things that are gonna be flattering for your face shape, for your skin tone, for your preferences. If you're a bright color or you're more of a neutral look person, what have you, I want you to feel comfortable chatting with me. I'm your consultant, I'm there to advise. And if you love the stuff and you wanna shop, I have it in stock and you can purchase it, yay. Uh, I usually do free shipping and oftentimes there's a gift for purchase for anything over $50. So just FYI, I love giving away free swag. So there'll be pens and candy and other doodads in there that are fun. And um, if you're interested to earn free product, there's always ways as a hostess or to do like a, what they call a mystery hostess where you get a catalog or an e-catalog and you send it out through your friends and you have them place orders and then like one of them gets their order for free and then you get so much off based on sales. There's things like that too. Um, let me know what's interesting to you and I will be happy to set you up so that you can get as much fun stuff, free stuff to make your heart pitter patter. And I will see you guys tomorrow when I go live again. Have a great evening.